The OED have just begun manufacturing electric cars for the right-hand drive car market, meaning places like Thailand, Malaysia, Japan, Australia, the United Kingdom. They've begun manufacturing them already at their electric car plant in Thailand. Here's the scary thing though. That manufacturing facility, we've already seen this actual BYD, new BYD vehicles with the steering wheel on the right-hand side of the car. We've already seen them um, actually spitting out EVs. And this factory was only, they only started beginning building this factory around six months ago. The scary part is that BYD are building EV factories all over the world at an actually much faster pace than Tesla. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. BYD right now are building a factory to build electric cars in Hungary, in Europe. They're building one in Brazil. They plan on building another car factory in Mexico, although that one hasn't started yet. They're building a factory in Indonesia, and they're now producing cars at their factory in Thailand. Now that's on top of BYD having about 20 different factories in China. If you're Toyota or a Volkswagen group, or to be honest, any other major car manufacturer, you've got to be looking at them going, um, they're disrupting us. And it's happening so incredibly quickly. There's just nothing we can do about it. Now, BYD has begun trial production of right-hand drive vehicles at its plant in Thailand, but it's also revealed it's building a new plant in Indonesia. A Chinese insider has reported that BYD has started trial manufacturing at the Thai plant. According to his sources, mass production will start there uh, this month. The Thai factory has a planned production volume of 150,000 electric cars per year. Now, BYD actually began manufacturing their plan in Indonesia. Uh, I believe it's going to happen next month. So there's that. And of course, BYD are planning on acquiring land in Mexico to build a factory to sell EVs to Americans. Now, BYD actually have begun producing cars at their factory in Thailand on the 10th of March, which is pretty staggering. And they plan on selling dedicated, or manufacturing and selling dedicated right-hand drive produced vehicles in Thailand. Now, obviously the Thai market is huge. BYD already is dominating Thailand's car market. Uh, the BYD Addo 3 and the Dolphin, I believe are first and second place in Thailand in terms of car sales. Now, for about six or seven months in a row, they're just killing it in Thailand. It's been amazing. The Chinese insider shared a picture from the BYD Thailand plants showing uh, a vehicle with the steering wheel on the right-hand side. Now, this shot shows the body in white of an Addo 3 with some parts installed. It's on the production line, surrounded by working personnel. Now, as you can see in the photo, it's very clearly a right-hand drive vehicle. So to give you some context here and adjust how many cars BYD are actually selling, I mean, this is Southeast Asia that BYD are targeting. They're not just selling cars in Malaysia and Thailand, they're selling them in the Philippines. They're selling them in Vietnam, in various countries around, in Indonesia as well. But, they say that they actually sold more than 30,000 cars in Thailand in 2023. I mean, you know, that's without mass production. So now that they're mass producing cars in Thailand, I believe there's a good chance BYD is just going to totally kill the market there. I mean, when I say kill them, I mean, they're going to be in first place almost certainly by the end of next year. And this could be BYD's plan, you know, do this in as many countries around the world as you can. To give you some context here, the facility that BYD are using to manufacture electric cars in Brazil is owned by Ford. Now Ford, uh, they basically got rid of their manufacturing operations there, um, fired their staff, and BYD said, well, thanks very much, we'll use that factory. And they began producing electric cars in that factory where Ford workers used to make Ford vehicles. The Auto 3 is one of the most popular BYD vehicles worldwide. And well, as you can see why, I mean, it's a small, medium crossover, it's electric, fully electric, has a blade battery, it's got a good battery pack, it's very affordably priced. In Thailand, the Addo 3 costs only 25,000 US dollars. Now in Australia, the price of these, you can get them for around about 33,000 US dollars. Um, but the price as a result of these, of manufacturing the vehicle in Thailand is gonna mean they might be cheaper now in places like New Zealand, Australia, Israel and BYD is doing incredibly well also. So guys, BYD's plans for global expansion is something we, I think we should really consider, just take seriously, because 
like they say, right? If you're not disrupting someone else, you're being disrupted. Now, who are Legacy Auto disrupting? Who's Toyota disrupting? Who is the Volkswagen Group dis- Who is Ford disrupting? Yeah, no one. BYD, pretty scary if you look at what they're doing and how fast they're actually doing it. Thanks for watching.